Hey allies, if you've not heard of AMD's Fluid Motion Frames, then I'm going to show you what this is all about. This is officially launching around the 24th of January, but there is a preview driver out at the moment that you can actually install on the ROG Ally as well. And we have a whole separate guide for that, and I'll leave a link in the description below and to the download file for this one. So when you download the drivers, just use the one from the link in the description of this video or the associated article and away you go. If you hadn't seen the difference between this before, it is a little bit hard to tell initially, but we all know Baldur's Gate 3 is incredibly difficult to run on the ROG Ally as well as other handhelds. You can see here with it default, it's around 30 frames per second, but with AMD's fluid motion frames on, or AFMF for short. You can see that during fast motion it does dip down, but when things slow down a bit, we do get around 50 to 60 frames per second. Now, what I didn't tell you, and unless you've actually been looking up in the top, is this beginning footage was actually at 15 watts. So we are seeing some of that benefit. However, it really does struggle somewhat. However, if we dial it up to 30 watts, which is where we'd mostly play these games anyway, not only do we see the boost on the standard version where we go around 40 to 50 frames per second static, but when we turn that fluid motion frames on, we hit around 80 frames per second. And it really does look quite a lot smoother. And you're going to see a little bit of the ghosting and blurriness blown up on a larger screen here. But when it's on the actual screen itself, it does feel quite a lot better. Now, another figure I want to draw your attention to as we look at this, not only the frames per second, the GPU utilization, which as expected would be higher on the fluid motion frames version, but look at the frame time. It drops considerably with fluid motion frames on, which is quite a surprise. It should be noted that to run fluid frames on Baldur's Gate 3, you do need to start it up in DirectX 11 mode as fluid motion frames only works on DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 games currently but it is a global solution for all of the games that are running under those DirectX versions. Overall, it has felt quite good. There can be some latency and lag introduced with this though, so they do advise having the Radeon Boost and also the anti-lag technology enabled. And for the most part, it does seem to counter it quite well, but it's not advised to be using fluid motion frames in FPS games. Hence, we're having a look at a couple of less intense games here. I'll show you some cyberpunk in a second. Now, one of the other changes that I have done, which seems to aid this somewhat, is turning on an advancement in Windows for windowed games. And for that, you need to open your system display settings, come into the display and then graphics options, set the default graphics settings and turn on optimizations for windowed games. This seems to help a fair amount, and you'll know that if you've got the right AMD software, because it won't appear in your start menu, you have to do the right click on your desktop. You can see that I have the AMD fluid motion frames here, and I've also got the anti-lag boost and also the maximum resolution change at around 33%. And I also have the Radeon image sharpening on as well. It's not known whether the image sharpening actually helps things here or hinders it with it already doing some of the other effects with the frames. But I left it on because any time that it's using lower resolution, that image sharpening does seem to help. Don't have any of the other display setting stuff on. If you do use the ROG Allies inbuilt performance overlay, it does cause issues with the fluid frames. So it's not advised to use that and instead use a performance overlay inside Radeon itself. And you can see that I've got that also turned on only for in games so that it's not on desktop all the time. On Baldur's Gate 3 there was certain instances where that ghosting was quite obvious and on Cyberpunk 2077 it's much less so. However there is a massive difference on this one. If you look as we go down this back straight we got under 30 frames per second and huge stutters with fluid motion frames off in Dogtown and even dips down into 19 frames per second. But when we go and look at the fluid motion frames on version, it was ridiculously smoother and none of those kind of hiccups occurred. Again, as we look at it off here, it really struggles to even hold 30 frames per second. But when we switch over to the fluid motion frames on version, as we come around the corner, we get a little bit of a hiccup as it does turn off and back on again in fast motion. But again, we're back up to the 50s and 60s, and it just feels and looks a ton smoother than when it was off. 
Now in the combat, you do notice a little bit of that input latency, but the Radeon boost and anti-lag really does help combat that. So once you get used to it, it's not so bad at all. However, it is a little bit noticeable if you do switch between them quite rapidly. Overall though, once again in combat, you can see the fluid motion frames off. We're only getting around 30 to 40 frames per second. And that frame time is up in the 26 range. But we do get some nice explosions and bits and pieces. But as we switch over again to fluid motion frames on, same combat kind of sequence. We see that frame time is down into the 15 to 16 millisecond range. We do get a little bit more blurriness when some of the effects go off. But that frames per second and frame time is just absolutely astounding. And it makes the game just feel so much more fluid. Now these are preview drivers. So obviously they should be a little bit of improvement once the official drivers come out. But who knows when that will happen with the ROG Ally. And if you do want to use the AMD latest version of installing these drivers, then check out our guide below. Let us know what you think of fluid motion frames and we'll test out some more games going forwards. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.